Hey guys, in this lesson we are going to perform an experiment again to see that how osmosis take place and to demonstrate it, right? So to perform this experiment we are going to require some apparatus and as the name suggests it is potato osmoscope. So one thing that's obviously we'll require is a potato, right? So to start with we will take a large potato. Apart from this, we will take around 20% sugar solution. We will take a petri dish which will be half filled with water and we will also require two pins. Okay. Now, it's a very simple, simple activity, okay, which can be performed anywhere in the school or in the house as well. So, what all you need is this, right? And to start with, what we'll do is, we'll peel a potato and from one end, we'll cut it flat so that it can be placed on the table evenly. All right. Now, next to this, we will bore a cavity inside, okay? And now we have got this osmoscope. As displayed in the figure, you can see that now this potato is placed in the petri dish which is filled with water. Now inside the cavity of this potato, we will add 20% sugar solution, approximately half or around two third of it, okay. Next to this, the level of this sugar solution will be marked with the help of a pin, alright. And after some time, you will notice that the level of this solution inside the potato has risen. Let's mark it again with the help of second pin in here. Okay, and ultimately what you are going to observe. Ultimately, we can see that this rise in the level of sugar solution, it proves first of all that the sugar solution is osmotically active, which means that it is accepting the water molecules from outside because you can clearly see that the level of water in the petri dish has lowered. Okay. Next to that, we also see that the thin layer of cytoplasm of the cells of potato, they act as a semi-permeable membrane. Okay. And at the end, we can say that this movement of water molecules from a region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration across the semi-permeable membrane is what we are termed as osmosis. Okay. This is termed as osmosis. Clear? Now, in this experiment, we have to have some precautions. The first precaution is that we have to peel the potato carefully because the peel can be impermeable to water and hence the experiment cannot be observed carefully. Okay. Other than that, we can see that the cavity should be done properly and there should not be a lot of gap or thickness at the base. Okay. It has to be as thin as possible. Fine. So this was all about the potato osmoscope wherein the solution that we take of sugar, it should not be osmotically same as that of the cytoplasm of the cell. Okay. So here we have demonstrated how osmosis take place in the potato osmoscope.